Hi, today we'll be looking at solving fraction problems using a relatively easy method called box method. Sunita used her weekly allowance to purchase some fruits. She spent one seventh of it on mangoes and three fifths of the remaining amount on oranges. She then spent five sixths of her change on grapes. If she remained with $20 cash in hand, how much is Sunita's allowance? Now, this method called box method, it eliminates the excessive use of fractional operation to evaluate the problem. They do this by simply multiplying the denominators and when they multiply the denominators, this represents the whole. This means that the denominator of each unit fraction will be divisible by the whole without leaving any form of remainder. Let us look at the example. Here, the denominators are 7, 5, and 6. Product of these denominators, that would give me 210. But this 210 would represent 210 units. So what we then do, we draw a box to represent 210 units and we subdivide them proportionately as the problem dictates. Remember this box is equivalent to 210 units. And they went on to say that one seventh of the allowance was spent on mangoes. This means that one seventh times 210 this will give me 30. Remember, this 30 represents 30 units. So I then divide this box in such a way that I will have a portion that represents mangoes, and that is 30 units. They went on to say that three-fifths of the remaining amount is spent on oranges. To get the remaining amount, we had 210 units in the first instance, but we know now mango represents 30 units. So the remaining amount will be 210 minus 30, which is 180 units. So that 3 fifths of 180 units would be 108 units. And this is the number of units that were spent on oranges. The remaining amount of units would be the sum of the units that we already found. That is 108 plus 30, which is a total of 138 units. And the total amount represented in that box is 210 units. So when I subtract 138 from the 210, that would leave me with 72 units. So that if 5 sixths of the remaining amount of units were spent on grapes, this means that is 5 sixths of the 72, which is 60 units. When I divide here further to represent 60 units, this 60 units would represent the amount spent on grapes. The remaining portion now will be 210 minus the sum of all those units there. That is to say, 210 minus 198 that would give me 12 units so this 12 units here would be the cash in hand now we are ready to solve the problem if 12 units represents $20 cash in hand we can use another arm of the box method that is when we divide a square into four parts and we have one of the parts representing the units the other part representing the value or the cash we were given that 12 units is equivalent to a 20 dollar value now what we want to know is how much she had initially or from the beginning from the beginning they had 210 units but what cash value is that this particular setup is called a ratio box 
to get the unknown quantity, we multiply the known diagonal and you divide that by that unit in the next diagonal. That is to say, the unknown quantity is equal to 20 times 210 divided by 12. This would give me $350. This concludes the problem. We now know what was Sunita's allowance from the beginning. Sunita initially had $350, and this represents her allowance. If you want to see the true conception behind the box method and the ratio boxes, please leave a comment in the description below. I will do a video specially for you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.